Hello, today I would like to show you this quite vintage and obsolete CRT black and white screen. It was a security CCTV monitor. You can find them quite often at shops when you've got a clerk looking at the display. So you've got ability to see what's going on. It has a quite nice mode of alternating between two security cameras or you can do that manually. So it was like swapping back and forth between uh, two cameras. Here is the switch. Here is the automatic mode and you can adjust the time bet between the two switches. It is a very nice device because it has a built-in speaker and amplifier and that means you can nicely use this for playing a vintage console or a old computer. So you've got a very nice all-in-one set and it is a really tiny unit. There is something magic in the vintage CRT screen. Maybe that they are not manufactured anymore. Here we've got a standard DC socket for a power input. We've got a 13.5 volt, but it's running without a problem at a 12 volts. We can see that the security cameras are using dedicated ports. This is a mini DIN plug. And that's because they are carrying not only a video, but also audio. And I believe you can speak back and like a pass a message. So it's going to go through that socket. Here we've got a audio and video output, most likely for a recorder. If you have a VCR, you was able to, to record what you see, like a pass-through. And here we've got the adjustment, we've got a contrast, we've got a brightness and the sync. That's, I'm going to show you how to adjust it. And this is how it looks like. As I told you, really tiny, really nice. Here is the microphone and I believe you can speak back to the person. Let's try to power it on. I'm going to use the Fluke TV signal generator, but it is honestly a overkill. That's because I do not need a RF modulator. So I'm going to use a standard video output. I'm going to convert the BNC into a RCA. And this is the cable that we are going to use. So on one end we've got the DIN and on the other end we've got two RCA, one for uh, audio input, second for the video. So let me hook up the video signal. Let connect the power and let connect our multi DIN pin. Let me just locate the notch and we are good to go. And let's try to power it on and let's see are we going to get a picture. Let me select some pattern. This is going to be a good starting point and I do not see anything. That's maybe because I'm on the different input. And yes, that was the case. We crack the code. If you've got the vertical hold wrongly adjusted, 
this is what you are going to see as you can see it's jumping so you are just adjusted so it's nicely steady and we can change the patterns and as you can see it's displaying really nicely this is how it looks like as you can see we've got a very nice picture everything is working properly as it should and it is a very nice piece of vintage tech so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye